Well, welcome to this edition of Understand Accounting in 5 Minutes. And in this presentation, we're going to go through the current ratio. Current ratio is one of the more frequently examined or looked upon ratios within both finance and accounting to examine a business's current assets and current liabilities. So let's take a look at that here and how that number can give you information about what the business is doing with those two particular areas. So what is the current ratio? Well, the current ratio is a measurement of liquidity. So if we talk about different types of ratios, this is one of the ones that looks at the liquidity of a firm. It only examines the current assets and current liabilities. The current assets are those assets that are, meaning they are cash or they can be turned into cash within the next 12 months. So it's only current assets. And current liabilities are those liabilities that must be paid in cash within one year or 12 months. So current assets and liabilities, just going through some examples here, current assets are cash, accounts receivable, inventory, prepaid expenses. There may be some others. These are the biggest categories. And then your current liabilities. So again, all of these have to be due within one year. Accounts payable, crude expenses, other payables, the current portion of long-term debt, and then unearned revenue as long as it's less than a year to be earned uh, in the expectation. So all of those could be current. Again, you want to make sure that you are looking at those liabilities that are due within one year or sooner. And so those are the two components of the ratio. And so for the formula, the current ratio itself is current assets, which we just talked about, divided by current liabilities. Sometimes this gets abbreviated CA divided by CL. So it's current assets divided by current liabilities. And then let's talk a little bit about what the number actually means that you would get after doing this. So if the current ratio is greater than one, the company has enough current assets to cover the liabilities if all of those liabilities had to be paid today. Generally, this is not the case, but when we look at a business, we wanna know whether or not they could come up with enough cash and that cash is either on hand or could be generated through the sale of inventory or from collections of accounts receivable. If you can do that, and you are able to generate enough to cover what else needs to be paid in the next year, well then your current ratio would obviously be greater than one. If it's less than one, the opposite is true. There are not enough current assets to cover all the current liabilities if they all had to be paid today. So generally companies do want a current ratio higher than one, uh, you know, higher than one. However, you don't want to go so high that you are either sitting on cash because that could be used for investments or could be used elsewhere in the business or some of the other areas, accounts receivable. You don't want a particularly high number in the accounts receivable because that may indicate you're not collecting from customers. The other reason uh, could be a large amount of inventory, which is possibly a sales problem. So if I have been sitting on a lot of inventory, it's sitting on my shelf, yes, that is a current asset and will make the ratio larger, but it may not exactly be the best thing for my business. So take the number with a little bit of context and see whether or not it is, you know, above one, below one, and then look at reasons why the ratio is what it is. So there's a practice problem for you here to calculate the current ratio. And the image below shows the current assets and current liabilities of XYZ Corporation. And I'd like for you to go and calculate the current ratio. So there's the balance sheet. I suggest you pause the video at this point until you're able to go through and perform the calculations. And I'll display the answer in just a few seconds. And so hopefully you were able to understand that the current ratio is the current assets, 63,200, divided by the current liabilities, 44,500, and this gives you approximately 1.42. Well, thank you very much for your attention during this lesson. I hope that was helpful for you. And if you are looking to go through the full list of financial ratios, we have a full financial ratio course on our website at stratfieldsolutions.com. We'll look forward to seeing you in another Accounting in 5 Minutes mini-series video soon. Take care.